Live from KTV in Reno, you're watching 2 News at 11. At that moment in time, I was like, I'm, I'm going to break down, you know, and instead they held me together with just a simple hug. One year after the Las Vegas shooting, emotions are still raw, but there's been some healing too. We check in with victims a year later on 2 News at 11. Well, obviously, this is the big story of the day today. More than 100 students at the University of Nevada, Reno, actually held a vigil for the anniversary of that Las Vegas shooting. I'm Ariana Bennett. I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us at 11. And many of the students who attended are from Las Vegas or knew someone at the concert. And one student who survived the shooting spoke to us about her experience. Brandon Foose has her story. As the sun set over the University of Nevada, students gathered in front of the student union to pay respect, to remember those they lost, and to embrace those still here after the one October shooting. To honor those lost, all of their names were read aloud. Denise Burtis, Sandy Casey. The most powerful moment of the night was senior Megan Naharo's speech. She described the terrifying night and reflected on her coping since. She didn't accept to speak right away, not because she was scared to, but because words didn't feel enough. What could I say that would speak for the 22,000 people who were there? What would I be able to say for the 58 people who will never have their voices heard again? Still, she poured her heart out and students noticed. Seeing people in the crowd be so affected by the words that are shared and just, just being together for, for this is, is really impactful. Naharo appreciates the continued support and says these conversations must continue for people to better understand. The more we talk about it, the more people realize that this is not just one day. This is going to affect me and the other survivors and everyone who was indirectly affected for the rest of our lives. Even though some may never be completely healed, getting closer can still lift people up. I really feel a sense of community and, and love when, when things like this happen. I think this community in particular has really come together in the community across the entire state. Hearing it today, it seemed more real. Last year they said it and it was like, okay, yeah, love wins. Okay, 58 of our own are dead. Um, and this year to hear love wins, it's more believable. I think we're all starting to feel stronger. Covering the story at the University of Nevada, Brandon Foose, 2 News.